Welcome, friends, family, faculty, and uh, assorted fans of myself to the Inspiration Ceremony. In four more years, some of you will be listening to commencement speeches given by the Bill Gates and the Barack Obamas of the world, but here at Monta Vista, you get me, and you're just going to have to deal with that. I would like to say that graduation is the day we've all been waiting for, but that just seems a little sad. Waiting your whole life for one day. Think about that for a second. One day is about 0.003% of your life. You're going to tell me that I spent over 2,000 days in school preparing for less than 1% of my life, and I'm supposed to be happy about that. Not to mention over 2.5 million other kids are able to accomplish the exact same feat every year according to a book I've never read. <laughs> now, doesn't that make you feel a little sad? Maybe even a little irrelevant? Not only are you sitting there in the sun wearing a cloak that could double as an oven and a hat that I imagine Van Gogh was wearing when he cut off his ear, <laughs> but now you aren't even proud of it. Well, good thing I'm here to tell you why you should be. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is a beautiful transition. School was not created to prepare you for graduation. It was created to prepare you for everything past it, for tomorrow and the next day and every day after that, until one day you get out of bed and realize that the exhaustion from waking up for a zero period pales in comparison to the exhaustion from raising your fourth child. Trust me, I know, I've seen it in my mother's eyes and it's absolutely frightening. <laughs> School isn't about memorizing facts or adding numbers. It's an institution that sets the stage for each and every one of us to shape our own character. And this idea can be seen in every year, every year we've been here at Monte Vista. As freshmen, we were introduced to real literature for the first time. And I know a few of you, possibly myself, read Romeo and Juliet and decided to go reenact it in the halls between class. But I have a feeling that wasn't the lesson we were supposed to learn. No, while in 30 years you may have no idea who Atticus Finch is, or you'll just remember Boo Radley as that guy who hid in some little kid's room, you will still have that characteristic of empathy. The ability to overlook first judgments and connect with people and see who they really are as those kids eventually learn to do with poor old Boo. This isn't something we were ever tested on, and it's not directly in the curriculum, but after we leave this school, it's the only thing that will truly matter. This year we have been able to experience what our empathy means to people. Our school has been very fortunate, but our town has not been. The ability to show compassion to our rival school in their times of tragedy has been an amazing thing to watch, and I'm sure it won't be quickly forgotten. Sophomore year, the history of our fine country was brought, brought to full light. Now, the only thing I will ever remember from that class is what a cotton gin does, but I do recall that history is very rarely pretty. While your mistakes may not have caused a world war, they still adversely affected your own personal life. There will be times when your life isn't so pretty, and knowing who killed Archduke Ferdinand isn't going to help you. But the very essence behind the history class is what will keep you moving forward. It's this idea of responsibility and learning not only from other people's mistakes, but also your own. The power of responsibility and the strength to not dwell in the ugly, but learn from it is what will stay with you after graduation. Junior year is when the real grind started. We began studying for our SATs and ACTs, all in the hopes that one day we'll get into that dream school. This is dumb. I personally have decided that the SAT is dumb. <laughs> Who is college board and why do they get to dictate where I get to go to school? For all you know, SAT is run by a small tribesman from Zimbabwe who sits there with sticks. His main expertise is hunting elephants, writing tests. Yet we all put our faith in the system and we put all of our efforts towards doing the best we could possibly do on this test. And this is an amazing example of the characteristic respect. In your future, will pe people will put you through things that are not enjoyable. But in order for you to earn the respect of others, you have to, in turn, show it yourself and follow through with what is asked. There's a reason why admin asks us not to throw apples at each other. And we comply out of respect, even though for some reason it's the innate nature of a high school boy to throw apples at people. <laughs> Speaking of which, did you know that the admin have a group text? Trust me, I read it over Mr. Baloo's shoulder during every basketball game. <laughs> And you know how every single one of those texts go. Kyle just sends in, he's, Yeah, hey Janet, uh, we caught Diedenhofen going to the taco truck again. <laughs> Paul? And she just 
sends back with like a little picture and it's just SMH they never learn. <laughs> And finally, we come to senior year, where these three characteristics of respect, responsibility, and empathy begin to come together. These ideals have helped us shape ourselves into the people we want to be, people with integrity. For those of you out there who don't know me, I have spent this year doing everything from taking AP tests to dressing like a woman in a rally. And this range of pastimes opened up relationships with people from all different social groups. The most amazing part about this has been seeing how all these lessons Monta Vista has given us to develop respect, responsibility, empathy, and integrity have made each and every student I've had the pleasure of getting to know unique and incredible in their own way. With all the same lessons, each person has taken away something slightly different, giving them the ability to add something special to life after graduation. Yet, from the mathematician to the artist, you are all genuine people whom I will miss more than any physical part of Monta Vista. Now, as you walk out of the theater today, I hope that you see why next Friday is no more important than just a piece of paper. Your life is dependent on the decisions you choose to make, not whether you got an A in biology. No matter where you go or what you do, as long as you bring your character with you, you will succeed, because each and every one of you has the power to make a difference. As you walk across that not-so-victorious football field, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> hopefully you won't Hopefully you won't remember your 2,000 days of school as a waste for 0.003% of your life being appreciated. Hopefully now you'll see those 2,000 laborious days as the work to be able to spend 0.003% of your life listening to my voice. Thank you.